Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is the Need for Speed on the Sega Saturn, released in 1996 by Electronic Arts, and it was co-developed by Road and Track magazine. It was also released on the PlayStation in this year, and I had that version back in the day, but I didn't really like it because it did not feel the same game to what was on the 3DO, which was released in 1994, and also was released on DOS in 1994. Let's have a look at the options. I've got the music turned way, way down, in-game and out of game, for obvious reasons. But yeah, my brother had a 3DO then, back in the day, and I played it and absolutely loved it. The game uh, supposedly has a slower frame rate in the Saturn version, but it just felt weighted, and it was a collaboration between EA and Road and Track magazine to make a more realistic game. Let's get into it. Wrong button, Dave. Um, basically, Road and Track magazine would handle uh, the, the... There we go. I'll work it out in a minute. God, I'm going to be fucked when I drive. Work out the uh, sort of, would handle the characteristics and the handling of the, you know, vehicles. Trying to make each one individual, because it had a whole bunch of vehicles. And um, yeah, EA wanted to make it a more realistic racing game. Now, on the 3DO, I loved it, because you raced against one um, other bloke. That was the deal. I don't think you're doing this one, but I've not played it before. And um, yeah. In that, you know, race against that bloke, you had to beat him across the finish line with a number of tracks. I believe all the tracks are the same in this one, but it, it definitely lacks, from what I can tell, the cheesy sort of FMV cutscenes that were included with that game, where some incredibly bad acting and some bloke were basically trying to egg you on and, you know, call you names or, you know, tell you off for trashing your car and stuff like that. And it really did, like, compel you to beat him. It was a really, really fun sort of aspect to the game. That appears to be gone in this. Again, I might be wrong. I've, uh, this is the first time I've played it. I've owned it for ages, mainly because I still love playing the 3DO version. Uh, what tracks are there? Coastal, City, Alpine, Rusty Springs, Arden, Oldham Valley, Vertigo Ridge. We're going to go with City because I, I can remember that from 3DO. But yeah, this seems to be a racer against eight other individual cars, not a single car. And it'd be interesting to see if there is traffic, because one of my favourite things about the 3DO version was traffic farming, where you could twat cars, flip them on their roofs, and I used to build a down of them across the road and then just reverse back to the side and watch my tailback ensue. Anyway, I'm going to edit the cut, um, the, the loading scenes on this, because they are absolutely horribly long. Right, let's get into it. What car are we going to go? Ferrari F12. To, uh, I'll be going with all of my like, Toyotas, Supra Turbo. I used to love those back in the day. They've not aged well. They are large, and the car has an ass. Uh, uh, Nissan, Nissan NSX, uh, Master RX-7. I do like Master RX-7s. I think they're better looking than the RX-8. Uh, Porsche, I love Carrera, um, and Dodge Viper. Oh, and Corvette. Oh, and Lamborghini Diablo. The last true Lamborghini before they became Audi and boring. Right, I'm going to go with the Ferrari F12. Now, how differently they handle, I don't know, because I've never driven any of these cars. Right, boom. Right, at a glance, horsepower, 421 brake horsepower, 0 to 16, 4.7 seconds. I know this is going to sound stupid, but isn't that slow? Well, at least for a Ferrari. Anyway, boom. You shies put it by. Right. So, A's accelerate, in car view. Ooh, that's loud. And then right trigger puts it into gear, and then you will shift up through the gears. That's the same as 3DO. So left trigger takes it out of gear, and then left again gives you reverse. B is brake, C is handbrake, X is in car, out car, small out car. Y is horn. How effective that is, I don't know. And what's. And the other one's horn as well. So, position bomb left. This is what I mean. The speed uh, is in the top center of the screen, and <clears throat> kind of, well, not so much a map, but displaying. I guess the corners ahead of me, but we're racing more than one bloke. So this is when I always said I thought this was different. Or oh, the PlayStation one, please don't. Oh, clever girl was you know different to the 3DO one. Could you argue this makes it more interesting and better? I don't know. Maybe because I played the 3DO version, they are trying to cut you off first. That's why I preferred it. But graphically, I still think this is nice. It's not aged amazingly. I mean, it certainly doesn't look as good as Ridge Racer. But remember, this is the first console fully fully 3D racing game, I'm not including 
<clears throat> um, sort of virtual racing in on the 32X and the you know Sega in that. I'm talking about the 3DO version. I will say that look at him. This definitely has a higher frame rate, and I do like the fact that he is trying to cut me off. This is the straightest road in the world. <clears throat> what car is he in? My car sounds like it's going to fucking blow a gasket. Oh. Oh, nice tunnel effect. It still feels the same as a 3DO. People say it's boaty. I think it's weighted, and I like that. It wallows on its tyres, where other racing games didn't. They just felt like you were made out of fucking balsa wood. But why can't I catch this guy? It's not like there are upgrades and stuff. Ooh. Yeah, using my horn, you bastard. <clears throat> Can I run him? So that, what, there is no other traffic? Balls. If I do time trial, there's no damage then. Oh shit! If I do time trial, or, you know, uh, in tournament, will there be other traffic then? Or is this because this is a single race? We might have another go. My distance is top left, so... Oh shit! Yeah, we might have another go. Is he in the same car as me? I mean, they are polygons, but they are chunky, aren't they? Oh look! I'm intangible! Don't remember that happening on the 3DO. Right. Yeah, I know I'm blaming this on the Saturn, but the 3DO version is just, just... Oh yeah, it does that. I don't know. I, I just love it because it was the... Hey! You're welcome. Instant stop for him. First sort of, you know, true 3D racing game I ever played. Skip, skip, skip to the end. Right. Checkpoint. Oh, it's a checkpoint. Does that mean I carry on? Uh, player one, best opponent. So there is another uh, Ferrari in here. Uh, best segment one, that was Diablo. That's it gives you all your stats and stuff, so it's trying to be a real racer. Skip, continue, highlights, restarts. Now nah, we'll carry on in this game mode. If I, I may do an update video to you know, give my thoughts on it, but I'm pretty sure it is not the same sort of racing style as the 3DO. That's not to say I'm disappointed with it. I had to own it on the Saturn because it's a need for speed game. Right, uh, yeah, we'll carry on. I'm assuming it's going to keep me in the same car because it's obviously a stage racing, isn't it? Right, I'm going to stay in... No, 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 no. Ooh. Maybe it was the start that let me down. That view? Ooh! They're all faster than... Away! There we go. Cutting through the pack like it were butter. Ooh, narrow. So it's still a city stage, but immediately it's, you know, it's different to the first stage in the sense that it's more narrow, more sweeping. Ah, so apparently I hit the wall then, even though I didn't hit the wall. That was a haiku. You're welcome. I mean, if you had this on the Saturn and you had it on the 3DO, am I wrong? Am I just having a complete brain fart? No, is it the Mandela effect? to work in the Mandela effect in the gameplay. You're welcome. No, oh, hang on, go on then. See, I suppose that would have been really impressive at the time, but then I guess there was stuff like Test Drive. It makes judging the walls, though. Ooh, awkward. What are you gonna do? We're gonna go back to that? No, we're gonna go back to that view. That does seem to be as it was on the 3DO. I didn't need to break then. I think, oh, hypnotized. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was an option. not a good noise. There may not be damage, but what does that... I mean, do you not see it, but there is? But yeah, this would be the best view. So kids today who play their, you know, their Forzas and their, their, their Gran Turismo's, trust me, this was cutting edge back in the time, uh, or back in the day. And this is definitely... the. Fr I can really feel the frame rate is better than 3DO. But I still love the 3DO. I'll never cheat you on me when I sat when it comes to this game much. Ooh, see what I mean there? That, that, where it draws the wall. So is it the line I've got to avoid and not actually the wall? Oh, that looks like it's going backwards then. Same effect you get on your tyres, isn't it? When you watch, you spin them? I don't know, it's got a name. So the other Ferrari's yellow. Well, I may be slower than you, but at least I got the right bloody colour. Bridge! Bridge! Epic source. So, again, I could be wrong, but what was the reason they went with this? Did they seem to think it was more appropriate? Because obviously, Ridge Racer had been out at this point, at least on the PlayStation. 
to go with this standard, you know, race by numbers, if you will. Nice. I do like the engine though. Too. What are you beeping at me for? It was fair. I overtook you legally. Oh, shit, man. Have I got a wing mirror? Wing mirror. Yeah, hang on. Yes, but it's in a... Yeah, it's not in the centre of the car. Well, it is a European car. Ooh, ooh, it does have those physics then. But you wouldn't notice because there aren't opposition cars that you can ram and swat off the road. Well, there you go. I'm going to call it quits there. I might do an update and play another couple of events in this, but I just want to have a quick dabble on it, at least to satisfy my needs, my needs, <laughs> my suspicions on whether it's different or the same as the 3DO version. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think if you had it, either version, any version or version, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.